From bikes to buildings, steel helps shape our world, playing an integral role in everything from reducing vehicle emissions to improving the way we consume food. Today, steel is the most recycled material in the world as it can be reused infinitely without compromising strength or durability. With advancements in technology and innovative engineering solutions, ArcelorMittal steel is being made lighter and stronger, transforming tomorrow. Steel production is a sophisticated process involving complicated math and science. In this video, our aim is to give you a very brief overview of how we take raw materials and turn them into skyscrapers. There are two main stages in producing steel. Primary is the process of turning raw materials into long, flat slabs. Finishing is the process of transforming a slab into a coil. At ArcelorMittal de Fasco, raw materials, coal, iron ore and limestone, arrive mostly from Quebec via the Great Lakes. Once on site, the first step is converting coal into coke in our coke ovens. Coke is then taken and used in combination with iron ore and limestone in one of three blast furnaces. The end result is liquid iron, which is transported by special rail car to massive furnaces that use electricity or oxygen to refine the batch. Various additional materials are also added to modify the chemical properties into exacting metallurgical specifications. This highly customised recipe is steel. At ArcelorMittal de Fasco, steel is created in either the basic oxygen furnace or the electric arc furnace. An interesting fact about each, the basic oxygen furnace, or KOBM, was the first to be built in North America, and the electric arc furnace is the largest single source consumer of electricity in Ontario. From the steel making furnaces, molten steel is formed into slabs at the continuous caster. At the end of the caster, slabs are cut before being moved outside to cool. From their temporary home in the slab yard, they are transported to the next main process, finishing. Finishing starts in the hot mill with the reheating of slabs in special ovens. Heated slabs are then run through a roughing mill, which rolls the strip back and forth, pressing the slab with extreme force into a thickness of less than five millimeters. The two inch strip then passes through the finishing mill, where the thickness is further reduced to a range as thin as 1.5 millimetres. Coilers then wind the hot rolled steel into hot coils. From here, coils are either sold or further processed. Many exposed applications, such as automotive, construction and consumer durables, require further finishing to make even lighter gauges and to protect against corrosion. This is accomplished through cold rolling and coating. Coils are unwound and flattened even more, then bathed in zinc, aluminium or special tin plating, depending on the end use. Coils can also be softened through annealing to create more formability or tempered to create texture and more strength. Finished steel coils are packaged and transported to our 10-acre central shipping warehouse. Central shipping processes 200 to 300 transport trucks per day. While many coils are shipped by road, many are also shipped by train or boat around the world. In addition to flat carbon steel, ArcelorMittal de Fasco has two tube mills that create pipe for automotive applications. Every coil made at ArcelorMittal de Fasco is customised to meet the needs of our customers. All widths, thicknesses, chemistries and metallurgical properties are carefully achieved through exacting processes and quality control. Every day, we look for ways to continuously improve to be increasingly safe, smart and precise. And today, that's easier than ever before. 5,000 ArcelorMittal de Fasco steel makers are tapping more than local furnaces. We're tapping into the collective knowledge, best practices, research and technology of 260,000 colleagues in 60 countries across the globe. Through 100 years of commitment to innovation and ingenuity, the Fasco has grown from a small foundry into an integral part of a global steel and mining powerhouse.